Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era and threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Jebel, the boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. And Mary, a girl who spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johanna set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, glancing towards the inevitable. Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brothers subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced. Arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. So, oh, Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. Jeebel, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. 
How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are. Very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense. You told me... Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I'd given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebel, we must return. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Gremlin. We're leaving. Jeebel, I know. I will put a stop to all this.
Was this a village? What happened to it? The demons Jeeble summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right, but wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Promise you'll be careful. Just hope that... Thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. An exorcist. Then we're lucky to have you, Dominique. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important, but you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger, but she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shadbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons facilitated by one Shardbinder just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder after exactly ten years. You're right. It is strange. But the church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm all right, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. 
<sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. Don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Well, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jibel has the book. What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. <laughs> Alfred, how are you still alive? Ugh, what were you thinking of coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? Book? The Liber Logiath? Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. Uh, what? You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. You will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Lee below Gaius? It's... It's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago. And the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power. But we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logiath. He said Chibel had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. 
It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. No. Let's focus on Jeebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say. Fancy a ride. Why? Are you offering one? <laughs> I could take you someplace most interesting. The rub, of course, is that obstacle standing squarely in our path. See? I doubt I would be able to push it aside. A shame you don't have a giant hand. Ah, the wild and crazy thing one could do with a giant hand.
stop right there. <sighs> I knew what you are. That ghastly air about you. You reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Ah, and what am I to make of you? I am your executioner. <laughs> At once, Zangetsu. Ah, here we go. How many times do I have to tell you? Our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. And I say, what is the difference? The alchemists were the gunmen, the shardbinders the gun. All must be dismantled. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. But Miriam is not like them. She is fighting for us, at great personal risk. Really? You forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. And do I look as weak? Look closer. <laughs> I was bored with her anyway. Do your job, Zangetsu. You need to put a stop to Alfred. And I will. But you listen to me, Shardbinder. If you value your life, then stay out of my sight. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do. I apologize for my acquaintance. He had no right to speak to you like that. Pay it no mind. I've been through worse. I want you to know that I trust you, Miriam. And nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Ah, oh, well, you have my thanks. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east in the tumult of a decade ago. Perhaps even longer. Demons robbed him of everything precious to him, and he's despised everything to do with them since. His strength, however, is second to none. I saw it for myself. I could tell he was holding back, but he was a handful regardless. Maybe it was a lack of conviction that dulled his blade. Well, I'll be off then. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long. Oi, wait a minute. Are you human? What does it look like? I I'm not sure. 
your body is covered with weird decorations. Uh, yes, but these are... Oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. Uh, oh, the name's Benjamin. Uh, I'm Miriam. Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. I know, I know. But I'm so scared I can't even stand up. Damn. I just want to go home. Hmm. Do I have any items that could help get him home? This... this will help me escape? Yes. Picture your house. And don't let go of that thought. All right, all right, I'll try it. I think it worked. Killer Barber. Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. Uh, I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Uh, well, 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 I have, but but it's these scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Then why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. <sighs> the name's Todd. And the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there? Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. 
If I don't give my patrons good haircuts, the scissors kill them dead. You have the worst curse ever. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll cut you for free. That is not an enticing offer. No, 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 not, not cut you, cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Hmm, I really could. All right, you have a deal. <clears throat> so, miss.
What you need is a giant hand. Thank <laughs> you. 